evening, everybody, and welcome to the Wednesday edition of the Business Power Hour with uh, Darren uh, Dimples and the Music Man, me. Hey, Dimps. <laughs> hey, Mr. Music Man. How, How you doing, doing this evening? What's going on? Ooh. How are you? We're good. What's up? Two ladies. This is true story. This two ladies at a network meeting right. came over to me, and uh, he said, oh, your show was really good, but we missed Dimples. Good evening, everybody. I just got the finger from Jim. It's all part of the story. Right. Hey everybody, it's Darren from the Business Power Hour. I'm not I'm not gonna be in the studio tonight. I'm traveling. Good evening everybody and sure. welcome to the Business Power Hour with Darren and the music man, except Darren's not here. I'm here. No, no, I'm you're right not here. here. Do you do you, does anybody see that? There's, Darren is not here. Darren is away. I, I am right you. here, right be quiet next to you. For a second, you're not here. Well, what, what, I don't know if you got lucky. Not the really interesting question. That's a fantastic I, question, Norman. Wow. So See, I got fantastic. fantastic. You just fantastic. got good. <laughs> I got fantastic. Show's about him, so let's focus That's on that. Are you drinking before the show? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> there we go. We got it. Let's go. No, it's now we got to fall. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Smother it. So. <laughs> I think it's, music music right it's, it's right. making noise. It's making music. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> That's so sweet of you, Darren. By the way, this is a Yankee uh, station. It's a Yankee, Yankee station. John, Yankee. it's a Yankee station. All right. Unfortunately. We got bugs in here. What's going on? I don't know. Do you uh, spray? Get you know an exterminator? It's that time of year where you get getting bugs and stuff. As long as we don't have bees, I'm good. Yeah, all right. That's but... Uh, we have a lot of undulations out in the, the field. Undulations. Is that a wine? So, it's, no, you, <laughs> what the hell is undulations? Fred, so, Fred, don't use big words. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right? <laughs> so this... <laughs> Help. Okay. I, I gotta give him a cough button, Jim. What do you think? A cough because button would be a good idea. Do you consider that a good question that he asked? Thank Great question. There you go. There's There's a a good good question. Question. Pythons and I, brains. I, I got, I, you're double D? I'm double D. Show's about him, so let's focus That's on that. Hey, give me some, <laughs> give me some, give me some loving. No, how are you, music man? Hello, Darren, how are you? I'm fantastic. I'm, I'm absolutely week. convinced. I'm absolutely convinced. I'm that telling you. you got some kind of brain damage when you had that thing last I'm, year. I'm telling <laughs> you that, and he called cool, it. It's not classy, but classy. <laughs> Seeing interviews by Darren and the Music Man, ladies and gentlemen, Darren Siafi and Norman Wasserman. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Business Pow Hour with Darren and the Music Man. And hi, Darren. How you doing? Good evening, Music Man. How are you this evening? I am fine, thank you. I think I'm going to change my background, and I want to go back to the, the Music Man background for the show tonight. Let's do this, it. This is like amazing how quickly this stuff can happen. See, I already changed my set. Look at my set. Look at us. It's just wonderful. <laughs> it's like wallpaper. Two it's, of we got a whole wall. It's it's like wallpaper. So how you doing, music man? How was your week so far? I made the best meatloaf ever today. I like meatloaf. And I tried different <laughs> things to go and do. I have to say I made the best meatloaf today. Okay. Did so how how are you? Meatloaf? How could you make the best meatloaf? Though? What do you mean how? Yeah. How? What do you well, make it with? Make, you have what do you make Italian, it with? You have to be Italian to make me go. No, I didn't say that. But I, I'm asking. I you. use the same ingredients that you would use. <laughs> what do Red you, what do you put? And, and, and garlic. And, okay. And I sauteed a whole bunch of onions. I roasted, and roasted the garlic. I you mixed know, you know what, the mashed is you, How does your meatloaf come out? Does it come out juicy or does it come out yes, dry? Yes, absolutely. A lot, a lot of people make meatloaf that I comes totally out dry. I cardboard, forget yeah, it. Yeah, like, it's horrible. No, it's, 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 if yeah. anyone would like a piece of uh, my meatloaf, just send us in a, a little email and I'll, <laughs> it up and I'll, I'll stick you're gonna it in ship, there. You're going to start shipping meatloaf around the world? We'll put some potatoes in here, too, <laughs> a little gravy. We'll wrap it up and maybe we can start a new business. Yeah, there you go. We can start a new business doing that. That's right, speaking of new business, you just you just signed a new piece of paper, didn't you? Yeah, actually, uh, I think I did. I did. I mention it at the last show or not? No, I told you. I told afterwards. I told you afterwards. Yeah, we're moving into new office space, so uh, we may have a new studio uh, for the Business Power Hour. 
We could I'm really do high soon. fives. I miss doing high fives. Yeah, I, you know what? I miss sitting next to you, bro. And uh, bro, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> getting, <laughs> getting it That's done. an inside joke, bro. <laughs> I miss him, though. I do miss him. He, he was I almost good. called him today to see how he was feeling. Yeah, Chris, Chris Gannon says he'll take some of your meatloaf. Uh, so. Chris, Chris yeah. Nice to see <laughs> he, that he's doing something and listening to, to the he, show. He's paying attention. Hey, Chris. He said he actually sent me your, your uh, commercials, but anyway, let's let's get on to uh, what we're, no, we're going. Having a good time to heck with, with, with I, yeah. Forget guests. our guest, right? <laughs> I am a Ranger fan. I know I you are. Said, I live in Ranger. Long Island. I know you're a Ranger fan too. Mm -hmm. So we uniquely have a guest tonight that has a not-for-profit organization, and we're going to let him. We're going to mention his name, and we're going to let turn the microphone over to him. And Tolik Bortz, that's T-O-L-I-K Bortz, B-O-R-T-S, is going to come on. And if you look in his background, everywhere you're going to see Ranger jerseys and Ranger paraphernalia. He's even and got a Ranger flannel shirt on. That I'm is telling awesome. you. This, 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 I, I don't know what we got here. Well, you're certainly a Ranger fan. Tolik, Hi, talk to us, baby. Well, how welcome, are Tolik. How are you guys? Good, good. How are you doing this evening? I'm wonderful. Oh. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I really appreciate the time that you guys are devoting to us. So it so, really means a lot to us. Not, not a problem, Tolik. It's our pleasure. So tell me, Tolik, what is, what is your organization all about? And how did uh, you get started? Yeah. Uh, why don't I start with uh, how we got started? So um, right now it's a not-for-profit organization. That was the big goal and the big dream. Uh, I've always, uh, my brother and I, we've always wanted to open one, something to do with giving back to children within our communities that are uh, less fortunate enough to either uh, be part of a, a music or a sports or a performing arts program or a child that isn't able to afford sports equipment. Uh, my brother and I, we both grew up uh, loving the New York Rangers, uh, diehard fans. We played street hockey and roller hockey. Um, and ice hockey as well. And as you both guys know, um, hockey equipment isn't, isn't very, cheap. Expensive. very, yeah. very expensive. I mean, even street hockey. So we were never able to afford uh, our own equipment uh, thanks to some of the rink managers uh, and some of the mentors that we grew up around. Uh, we're able to find programs um, that, that donated equipment to either the teams that we played for or the ch children that were less fortunate. Uh, growing, growing up, we've always looked up to, to an etiquette such as that. So uh, throughout our youth, we were always helped in some way, one uh, shape, form, or, or another um, growing up in Brooklyn, New York. So that kind of stayed with my brother and I. Um, we've always wanted to give it back to our, our, our community. So when the pandemic began, the the core of the pandemic, uh, March or April. So as you guys remember, the masks or any kind of PPE or medical equipment yep. uh, was very scarce to come by. I mean, you would look up a mask and you would go it on eBay or Amazon. I mean, prices were ridiculous. Uh, so what we decided to do was uh, start making our own masks. Uh, and we decided to take a little bit of a, a more of a unique approach as opposed to just cutting them out out of material, what we decided to do was uh, just take, well, these, these, this is my own collection, but what we decided to do was utilize uh, our own t-shirts uh, and jerseys and cut out the masks uh, ourselves. We decided to uh, sell them and as well as donate them to uh, frontline employees, uh, um, first responders, uh, to hospitals, mainly fire station and EMS station. So uh, we've opened up some, some social media groups uh, and it kind of took off. So in a way where some of the former NHLers took notice, current hockey players took notice. Um, and it, it really helped the community to come together during oh. such a terrible time of sorts. So, so what, these what, maps- uh, Talik, what, what, what community are you living in currently? I'm, I'm, Right. We're, we're yeah, in. absolutely. So, right. I, I've moved up to uh, Albany, New York. Okay. Uh, for the past You're in years. Albany? I didn't know you yes, were in sir. Albany. 
Yes, I am. So more, more ice up here. there. Yeah. <laughs> he, plays, he plays hockey at the egg. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I love it that you know of the egg. So oh, I know, I know it. I know it. Yeah. It, it, it's a beautiful suburban area here, uh, aside from the city itself. I mean, I'm a Brooklyn native through and through. I was so, raised in, in Brooklyn, New York. Absolutely. What, what, what part of Brooklyn? Because John from Hazlitt, who is, who is a frequent uh, contributor to our show, is also from Brooklyn originally. Yes. He, he now lives in New uh, Jersey. So we, we, we hung out and played hockey mainly within the Sheepshead Bay, Brighton Beach area. Okay, uh, so you were in a good part of Brooklyn, not not the part John yeah. from Hazlitt's from. I guess <laughs> bad pizza. Yeah. He said a uh, bad pizza area. She said Bay is a bad. Oh, pizza. I just, I, what position I did you play around, in hockey? I grew up around the, the greatest pizza area, which is Bensonhurst and Bay Ridge. So there you go. Yeah. Oh, like what position did you play? So my brother and I, uh, my brother's a defenseman, and I was a natural forward my entire life. When I moved up here. I decided to, at an older age already, in my 20s, decided to transition into a goaltender position. Uh, so I've been learning that uh, that skill, being a natural athlete my, my entire life, that didn't come very hard. So right now, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a goaltender. Uh, and my brother continued to stay as a defenseman. Well, let me ask you a question regarding, regarding your business for a second. Can you, you make these masks. Do you make anything else besides masks? Uh, but by, by trade with our hands, no, we, we just strictly make a uh, face mask. We are beginning okay. to transition into, into other products such as t-shirts, but we wanted to take a little bit more of a unique approach in terms of being 100% handmade, uh, made right here in the United States in Brooklyn, New York. So, uh, we're definitely taking that, that approach. So why not do Islander masks? or St. Louis Blue Mass and other teams? We absolutely do, sir. So once, once, these, once these social media groups took off a little bit, we, we did not discriminate. Individual, our, our main uh, prerogative here was, since we are sports industry derived and mainly hockey uh, derived, we didn't only make New York Rangers masks. New York Islanders fans began to contact us. We launched something that was called the fa uh, Face Mask for Fans Project. We wanted to save and protect as many sports fans or sports personalities or hockey players, ex-NHL players. So we can all come, once this pandemic has vanished and everything goes back to normal, so we can all be alive to go back to our beloved stadiums and celebrate our team once more. Um, that was the goal be behind our project. Uh, not to say that we would we, we don't want to protect or save anybody else. It just happen, happens to be that this is the industry that we're in. Uh, these are the followers that we have. Uh, these are the groups that we belong in. Uh, but local businesses started calling us. Um, other teams, uh, Los Angeles, Colorado, like you said, St. Louis, New York Islanders, Jets, Yankees, uh, Mets, any sport, any team, any time, we were ready. Uh, so... Like I said, this was a little bit of, of, of a unique uh, mask for, uh, mask industry for us because we took that T-shirt and we never we never screen printed or heat pressed any unlicensed logos. We took an already licensed T-shirt, simply cut out the, uh, the logo, and cultivated a face mask. So we simply repurposed a product and donated or sold them to the fans and raised funds to give right back into our communities. So what we started doing um, more recently was collecting uh, secondhand sports equipment and providing them to sports rinks or sports facilities that were underserved or children that weren't fortunate enough to uh, afford their own or registration of sports uh, fees for children's sports teams, for travel leagues or home leagues, whichever it may be. So anything of that dimension that's what we mainly wanted to cover. So it wasn't only New York Rangers masks. While that was our primary focus, uh, it was definitely, it definitely ventured into other markets for sure. So it, is this, it, is it this was your main job? Uh, no, this sir, this job? is not my main job. What no, do you do in your real life? No, this is a... 
So I, I've worked in the healthcare industry for 20 years. Uh, I've actually moved up here to, uh, to Albany, New York to take the New York State Department of Health uh, position uh, for the uh, quote unquote Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. I now work with a private entity. I work with children, children with autism. So I'm a direct support healthcare professional. Um, and I am as well as a property, uh, property management specialist. So I have two careers in line. This is uh, this project here, this not for profit organization that we were recently got approved and registered for is more like a passion, a, a drive, something we've wanted to do. So only come to find out this is not a part time gig. This is something that's absolutely full time. That, that's typically um, what happens. Your passions take over and, you know, your, your exactly full, full time positions, you realize, you know, or that's the way you make the money so you can do your passion, right? I so, met Tolik. I mean, to I met Tolik to be honest with you, this is something that I, I yeah, I, I, would, I would drop both of my jobs if, if I could have just to do this for a living. It's just so rewarding. And uh, um, so Tolik, if somebody- I have no words to explain it. I could do it for time. Tolik, so if somebody wanted to buy some masks from you or- make a donation of equipment or anything like that. How could they go about doing that? Absolutely. So uh, we recently and finally launched our website. It's, uh, so let me just tell you the name of our, um, uh, of our not-for-profit organization. It's, it's by the name of Ultranite. It's derived from the word altruist and individually un unselfishly concerned for the welfare of others. And then night is derived from uh, as a Brooklynite. So it's ultranite.com. A L T R U N I T E dot com. It's ultranite.com. Uh, while the product and main focus was the masks, it's gone so, so far beyond just the masks. Uh, we've donated to hospitals and school districts, uh, food drives, uh, clothing drives, equipment drives, raising funds. We've teamed up. Uh, I know that. Uh, I'm not sure if Devin knows of this individual. We've uh, partnered up with uh, Adam Graves. He has yeah. his own foundation as well. He's the 1994 yeah. Stanley Cup champion. He mm -hmm. was our first partner. Uh, so we're raising money to remodel or uh, build a pediatric rooms in hospital and medical um, medical office settings for children. So we've we've taken on that partner to try to help him out with that as well. Um, but probably our most rewarding and humbling accomplishment was, I mean, what, you're a New York Ranger fan. What, what do you want to do? You want to try to reach your team. So after five months of hard work, excruciating work of sending out these masks and trying to reach out to the community, we were put together uh, in touch with a mutual friend and actually had the opportunity to donate custom handmade masks with each and every single individual number for the actual New York Rangers team. So uh, we dropped them off uh, I'm, three I'm days prior to them fl flying out. I'm on your website right now. Go ahead. And I really like some of the product you got on here, but uh, I can't believe that you're actually selling New York Met stuff. I don't, is, is that stuff even selling? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> if I knew that, you wouldn't be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> again like i said we don't discriminate that shirt actually was um uh that shirt that you see the mask with the emoji collection right uh, a lot of these shirts a lot of these shirts have uh a lot of meaning behind them uh that l l let me tell you a lot of these sh actually i would say 90 percent of all of these shirts and jerseys that we make these face masks come directly from our fans, from our group members that have taken upon themselves to donate to us for us to continue with this so, project. So if um, we have old shirts, old jerseys, things like that, you take all of that stuff, you clean them up, you repurpose them as masks, uh, you know, and, and sell them. And I see that like Girardi and Hayes and, you know, I'm looking at, it's a lot of med. I, it's, we watch no, them. You know what? I, I just figured them. it out. I nobody wants them. nobody wants to hold on to that Met stuff, so they're donating it all to, to <laughs> organization. By the way, we I, do, I, we met have, we, I met Tolik online. Tolik had contacted me and to ask me about concerts, 
and that's how this conversation got started. And I said, before we do start talking about yeah. that, let's, let's get you on the- uh, We lost Tolik. Yes. All right, buddy? Is it something I said? <laughs> I don't know, we lost him. Where'd you go? Uh, okay, there you go. All right, then. <laughs> so I said, before we discuss doing concert, let's uh, get you on here and see if we can help promote you and whatever. But I do need to talk with you uh, either tomorrow or after the show, well, I got can, something. You can talk about that later. Here. Let's let's talk about Tolik and this great website that he has here. If you want to make a donation, if you don't want to Any, buy a mask, anytime, guys, anytime. Yeah, if 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 you don't want to, if you want to buy a mask, if you want to, you know, just donate money to help the cause, go to ultranight.com. There's a donate button there. Uh, you know, you can even oh, so you can even make a request saying, "Hey, I'm looking for this type of mask," right? Uh, Absolutely. Any kind of mask. So here's the cool part. If we don't have that shirt or if I can't find that shirt for you, you simply mail us your own shirt and I will call and we will personally cultivate a face mask for you. How much Absolutely. is the mask? So a standard cotton mask is $29.95. It comes with a pouch and a filter as well. A jersey mask is $39.95. It comes from an actual jersey. And we could put on uh, a Rangers logo, your custom number, initials, your name, anything of that nature. So they are 100% handmade, cut out, stitched, and sewn. So pretty much cool. essentially cool. and actually every mask is one out of one. It is simply unique and li extremely limited edition. So a lot of these masks we can't remake. Um, we can maybe make them uh, similar maybe with the numbers or the, the logos, but, but in the end, they are not computer or machine made. They are, they are, they are made by a professional. You don't, you don't, have, a, right, you don't have a machine just pumping these things out like, like our masks, right? So, you, you know, you no get these things. You don't have machines pumping these out. Yeah, we, sure no, lead so, so that's a good advertisement. So yeah, we, get, we get these made by the thousands. You sound, you sound better. I sound better? Oh, thanks. Sound good. Yes. Yeah. Wise guy. <laughs> so that's a single layer. Our masks come double layer cotton and right. a filter insert. So technically triple and a PM 2.5 filter uh, is complimentary. It's a five carbon activated filter that comes. Oh, so this uh, isn't just serious stuff. Right. This is serious stuff. This isn't something that you're just buying and, and oh, it's a, it's a, you know, a, a cheap cotton mask like this, you know, like that, the stuff my partner buys. But uh, <laughs> it's true. Do you have a sample that you can show us? Well, if you go on the website, they're all there. Yeah, well, I'm talking to him now. So maybe if he picked it up, he could show the, the audience. Oh, what I, oh if he watching. has one, there, yeah. What I could do too is I could uh, click on one of these. I do, but uh, I do. I, I do, but Darren, I do upstairs and in the car, but Darren might not like it because the only two masks I have is one Rangers. And uh, one Mets. <laughs> well, the Met one, I'm not crazy about. So, like, uh, here, here's what I'll do right now. I'll, I'll share my screen so you guys can see. Right? So, this is the website. Okay? And that's the mask. I mean, look, this thing is wow. made pretty good. Th that's made out of an actual, actual New York Rangers jersey. And that number 24 is our last year's rookie, Capo Caco. Do you, have any, do you have any Adam Graves shirts? Did Adam sorry, Graves donate any, any shirts to the cause? Uh, oh, Graves yeah. has not donated uh, shirts, but we, we did make him a custom mask for Adam Graves to play. So we actually took on ourselves to, for a shirt, make the mask, send it to Adam Graves. Because I would I like, would like to order an Adam Reeves uh, mask for my son. There, 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 there is. is. If, if, if you, you go, go in the, the shop, shop and you click on part of a lion collection, what's going on with this now? You will see the Adam Reeves mask that were there. I don't know. You, you, you're mumbling there, Norm. No, he's coming. Tolik's coming through fine. Oh, I'm, I'm not. Okay. No, he's coming through fine. Uh. Yeah, I mean, you got you got to go on the website, Norm. Oh, you have a Harley Davidson collection too. Yes, sir. 
Oh, I'm loving this. Look, I'm, I'm taking all of everybody's watching your site right now. Look at this. I might order one of these. There you go. I was sold. I like that. <laughs> I was sold. That is a cool one. That one. I like this. This is good. That's great this stuff. Good. Yeah. The heart of lying. This is the Adam Graves stuff here. Norm. The those are probably one of the most beautiful maps we've ever had. Look, Adam Graves. That's great. Look, yeah, I th this is the one that you're going to get your son right here. Got it. Got it. Blue, Blue nine. Blue nine. Blue nine. Yeah. All right. Got it. Got it. There you go. All right. I'm going to stop sharing now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, Tolik, this is this is absolutely great stuff. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a we're going to take a little bit of a break. And when we come back, you got to give me one second here to get set up. Absolutely. Uh, Norm, which one do you want to run today? Doobie or John Denver? Both of them. It's this weekend. Oh, both of them. Wow. Look at this. Demands, demands, demands. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then you, right. Can, you can slip yours in between. Yeah, I'll slip mine in between. All right. So when we come back. Well, that doesn't sound good either, does it? No. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. Hey, whatever. <laughs> when, we, when we come back, we're going to continue with Tolik. And we're going to find out more about the, uh, you know, the organizations that he actually donates to and the amount of kids that he actually uh, helps with this cause. We'll be and right if back. If you have any questions, email us. Well, yeah. Talk to us on Facebook chat. We'll be back right after these messages. Oh, no, we're going to screen one. There we go. Looks good so far. That was excellent. control of your business this is business consultant darren sayafi listen to me every monday at 3 p.m as we discuss strategies and solutions where you can regain control that's every monday at 3 starting september 14th right here on li news radio We're back. That was quick. I think we lost Tolik. I think Tolik left. I don't know what happened. I think he him. ran out to his car to get a sandwich. There he is. Yeah, it's not that long of a break, Tolik. Like, you, you know, I'm you know right here, guys. I do. I do a radio show on Monday afternoons on uh, Long Island News Radio WRCN, and uh, you know, at the half hour mark, they do an eight minute break for news and traffic and all of that stuff. That's insane. Yeah, it's insane, but you know, we're our breaks aren't that long. Oh, I, I didn't tell you. I had a, a surprise call in on Monday afternoon. I had John from Hazlitt actually called into the show. He was listening. No kidding. Yeah. Is he, so. not, is he not working? What's the story? Yeah, he's not working. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> that made it easy. How's he feeling? Uh better. He's but, he's feeling pretty good. Yeah. Give yeah. him my regards. So he, he also Listen said, Talik, if he, he's got a ton of Matt Harvey shirts he wants to send you. Met, oh, met shirts. <laughs> we'll, we'll take any shirt, uh, any team, uh, whatever you guys got, you send it in. Uh, if you visit ultranet.com, there is a way to donate, whether it's shirts, equipment, or monetary funds. Um, we, it, did, it took us a while. We put a lot of, if anyone thinks it's easy peasy to create a website uh, from scratch, it is absolutely not. So oh, no, it, I know I'm going through that now. I'm revamping my whole website. And we really put some heart and soul into that website. We did the best we could with the knowledge we possess. It looks beautiful. It looks We're not really, really designers. Nice. Yeah. So um, how many people do you have on your database? 
when you say da uh, database, are we uh, the people that are on your Facebook friends or on the people that have bought from you? Combination of all of them. How many people do you have? I think he froze. It's a cold up in Albany. I guess. <laughs> I think there's some problem with Zoom tonight. With the with with, with, with businesses that we've uh, we've been selling throughout yes. these past three months, we've definitely exceeded the one that the one K mark. So oh, excellent. One, you. That's one, great. One thousand uh, masks have been shipped, received, uh, delivered to fans. Uh, we've exceeded the 1,200 shirt or jersey donation number this month. Um, uh, 22 hospitals we donated to. Uh, I have the exact numbers written down, uh, but EMS stations, fire stations, school districts. Um, the list goes on. It's, it's on our website as well uh, with, with numbers. We do like to provide individuals with uh, who we donate to, what facilities we are partner up with. So, um, so how many facilities and, you know, uh, are, are you, as of right now, are you staying in a certain geographic area for donations or are you donating to basically anybody who contacts you and, and they fit the profile of what you're looking to work with? How is that working? I think he froze again. I'm telling you, there's a problem tonight. Do, 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 do. Up with distributors, so any equipment that we take in, uh, we provide to the facilities, and they handle of those matters as well. Uh, okay. Once we so, once we become a little bit more familiar with demographic, household income, household size, and begin to navigate our applications in terms with uh, which, so to speak, which family deserves. Uh, of it the most, right? Uh, but we we like to get a little experience uh, uh, under yeah, our belts yeah. here. Before you don't want to yeah, be exactly. right. You want to be donating equipment to a kid that you know he's driving a Ferrari at sixteen. That's you exactly know? what I was. That's exactly yeah. what I was afraid of. So we're working with uh, some organizations right now. Um, We got we got them fr frozen again. We're trying to partner up with the boys and girls. They have their after school programs as well. How, how's that good now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you every once in a while you're freezing on us. You freeze for a few seconds. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So boys and girls club we're trying to partner up with. Okay. Yeah. So I, most recently mean, uh, we teamed up. I don't know if you guys ever heard of. The yeah, we lost you. We we just lost you again, Tolik. Who 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 did you? Um, have we ever heard of who? Uh, it's called the Movember Foundation. It's uh, Men's Cancer and Suicide Prevention Foundation. Okay. All right. So we teamed up with them. And uh, we got invited to their uh, charity hockey game. It's called the Mustache Classic. It's going to be in Danbury, Connecticut. Ah, I, you know uh, what? November I've seen 21st. that online. I've seen that online. That That's very cool. Yeah. Right? So November so is... Is, yeah. is grow a beard or mustache oh. month, right? Exactly. Well, so, so like if, a you lot need, of if you need to get in touch with the Boys and Girls Club to the director, he's a he's a business friend of mine. I can get you hooked up to the Boys and Girls Club. Norman, you're my new best friend then. That's, <laughs> That's right. So you, you call me tomorrow, I'll give you his number. I want to I want to give a, a quick shout out. Uh Josh Hernandez is, is watching again. Hey, Josh. I'm, I'm sure Josh is wa watching with my, my lovely goddaughter, Heather, and her beautiful children, Tosh and Anthony. Hey, Anthony. Anthony. Uh, Anthony. How are it's you, buddy? Wednesday. It's Prince Spaghetti Day. It's, it's Wednesday. It's Prince Spaghetti Day. <laughs> Anthony. It's Prince I told, Spaghetti Day. I told Anthony. I told I was talking to my goddaughter. I, I, I don't mean to go off topic, Tolik. Uh, no, you're totally fine. Anthony, Anthony, I think it's four now or five now, a uh, four now, a uh, five, uh, six. Yeah, one, one of those. <laughs> <Never>. Anyway, <laughs> he, he, I was talking to, to Heather and he didn't believe I was real. And I started talking to him on the phone and he's like, 
So I don't see him. I, you know, ever since he was, I saw him when he was a baby and maybe he was like two years old was the last time I saw him. And then they, my, uh, my nephew, uh, Josh is in the army and they were stationed in Hawaii. Now they're in Texas. Why don't you send your jet to pick them up and bring them back? Yeah. My jet. There we go. I would. You know, if I had one way. So now Tola, you got a runway too, I heard. It's a runway. Yeah, now I got a runway. <laughs> Every week, Tolik, it's another thing. I, got, I know. It, yeah. He's got a tremendous you know. house. You got, you got oh. thoroughbreds. He's got I got everything. thoroughbreds. I got a Maserati cars. pickup truck. So <laughs> Who's got thoroughbreds? The dumpster. No, no. He, I, this is what Norm tells people, right? Oh, they believe so it. I, I literally will walk into a networking meeting, Tolik, and people will say, so how are your horses? And how many do you have? Now? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't have any horses. I have zero. Actually, <laughs> actually where I live, for about 45 minutes from us, huge, huge uh, horse racing city. I'm sure you guys know of it, Saratoga. Yeah, of course, Saratoga sure. Springs. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I know it. So I know. big networking you events go, go down fit? here. Did you ever go to Chowder Fest? All the time. Down there? Oh, it's one, great. One of my favorite events. Food and wine festivals are up here in New York, uh, here in upstate New York as well, by the way, guys. If everybody gets a chance, it's usually in February. It's not going to probably be this February. But if you go to the Chowder Fest in Saratoga, it is unbelievably great. Absolutely. You better like Chowder. <laughs> <laughs> is it Boston or New England? I mean, New England. Every or kind or you can think of. Or every Manhattan. store, every store has Chowder. They have a contest and you buy it's raffles. New England or Manhattan. Yeah, New England or Manhattan, right? Yeah. Not a big chowder guy, but that's, no. that's it. Okay, so let's get back on topic. Let's get back on how we can help Tolik. You know, so everybody today, go to his site, ultranite, A L T R U N I T E dot com. All right. And you know what? If you got a t shirt that you can donate, donate a t shirt. If you got, you know, if you want to buy a mask, they're very well made. We showed them before. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. I'm sure beautifully made. Beautifully. I'm going to buy that Adam Gray's one tomorrow. Yeah, but it, well, not if John from Hazlitt buys it before you do. Uh, well, he, he can't get it, though, first, you know, because I'm going to introduce Tyler to someone he wants to meet. So. Oh, okay. He's got, hold it, that. He's got to hold that mask for me. If there, <laughs> if, if there are any masks that are that you see that come up uh, as I was sold, you can simply click on them right? and we can remake those masks. If you think of any mask that you want to dream up of yourself and custom make it, we can make it for you. If you What's contact me via email through that site or through the request a mask tab, we will cultivate a face, ma a face mask. Uh, I think, that I think I'm gonna, thinking of. That, that Harley one with the eagle, I think I'm gonna request. We're gonna, cre we're gonna create some business for you now. The holidays are coming up. Yes. How long does it take for delivery for you? If people call you up, people watching the show, how long is delivery? We So we make the, the mask same day. Shipment is always out the following day. After we deliver the mask to the postal, postal office, you have two options. It's either uh, three to five days is standard priority shipping, or you have a two-day uh, two uh, two express shipping. Uh, so it's all, it's all in the United States postal service hands, but there are two variations. It's either the three to five day shipping or the two day shipping. So well, obviously the price time, varies. Plenty of time for the holidays. Absolutely. And if there are, if there are any complications, we've hand delivered individuals that, uh, mask themselves. I've driven three hours and delivered masks myself. Wow. All right. I just, I just There's requested... I just requ requested the eagle wings, so that that's the well, mask. Tell them why? Well, because I ride. Easy. I ride. I have a Harley, so. Oh, got it. Okay. And I just got it back. It was painted. I didn't know you had a Harley. You didn't know that? Yeah, it's in my you know my estate. I have a lot of different things in my estate. Well, that's on your yeah. track. Got it. <laughs> it's, it's, it goes on my track. <laughs> Or you know you're laughing, but he's got a track. I don't have a track. He tells Please, everybody stop. he doesn't have one because he's embarrassed. I don't have, see, this is what I have to deal with every week. It's the you same. see the CBS on this shirt? The first two letters are certified billionaire. 
I what like it means. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know what? Next time somebody asks me, I'm going to say that certified billionaire. When somebody says, what does CBMS stand for? Certified billionaire management systems. There you go. <laughs> Talk about humility, huh? Yeah. I look, my friend Joe over at perfect bodies repainted my bike. My bike was orange and, uh, he repainted it for me blue. It did a great job with it. I just got, got it back and put it back together. So I'm pretty excited. That's great. Uh, I haven't wrote it yet, but that'll be this weekend. Yep. I haven't had time, but does yeah. yeah Tolik, does Michelle I just, like to ride? Yeah. She likes to. Yeah. She likes to go out for a ride. We go out for yeah, nice long rides. Mm -hmm. It's, it's our way of getting away and, and having a, having fun with that. So I think I'm going to buy that Adam Graves mask for my neighbor. 100% uh, of 100% uh, of the sales will be donated directly to the not-for-profit organization. Awesome. So, and I'm going to buy the Harley whether it's, mask whether it's the product or the service that we provide. That that is that is definitely awesome. Uh, so, who are some of the charities again that you donate to? Can you mention names? Absolutely. So it's Smile Zone. It's Adam Graves' foundation. Okay. It is the it is the Movember Foundation, and as well as some of the uh, some of the charities here within the the capital region. As of now, like I said, we're, we're brand new, uh, so we're looking to take on sponsors or partners and supporters. Any local or small business or not for profit, we're just looking to network and uh, create relationships. So what we started doing a, a new program. So for a donation of any choice of whatever you decide, we'll put that uh, small business or a big business or another not-for-profit logo or a new station, even the business power hour or the friend entertainment. We'll put that logo on our high traffic website with a direct cl uh, click link right into your, uh, into your website as well. Uh, for, it, it's kind of like an exchange of networking. So we're building that tab within our website within the coming weeks. Um, and as we begin to expand, I um, mean, it's just about creating relationships. So that's, that's what it's about for us now. Yeah. Well, look, that's what business is all about, right? Is creating relationships and pe people buy from people they like. And it sounds like you're doing a lot of great things, uh, Tolik, for your, your, the community. And it's just not, your local community. It's all over New York. It's all the over country. Oh, he, he's over he's the country. doing the country. You know, I mean, look, even uh, how come you don't have any New York Giants stuff? I only see like Mets and that's because everybody's throwing away their Mets and Jets stuff. <laughs> we <laughs> do. Uh, They're not saving Gi Giants stuff too much either now. No. Giants sold out. So we, we, we've had a lot of big donations from the Giants jerseys. Uh, we were able to make some really, really cool masks. Actually, any jerseys that were donated to us or that we took out of our private collection, they came out so cool. Um, they sold out pretty much right away. I still have some Jet stuff up there as well. Um, so we've been trying to focus on the not-for-profit as well, uh, a little more than the mask themselves. So the mask was a bittersweet product for us to start with because it gave us that opportunity to tap into our community. Uh, and get to know our fans. Uh, but we've been kind of working on the not-for-profit itself. Uh, but just these, the, I'm going to send you guys our link later on. Maybe you guys can share it somewhere. Some of these masks that we've done in, in the past are, are just uh, amazing. You should see the quality and just the, the stitching with these masks are unbelievable. So the Giants one sold out fairly quick. Uh, we, we haven't gotten any, a lot of Jets jerseys recently. Uh, but we've we've done some as well, and there are on our website. I'm sure you're going to start getting a lot of Le'Veon Bell jerseys now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, some of these fans might not like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, I mean, he was released. He was released last he night. Was released? I didn't know yes. that. He was released no. last night. They let him go. Well, he'll said, probably be on the Giants it. now. Yeah, after right. they dumped the everybody, the Giants picked them up. And yeah, then the Giants dumped them. All right. Didn't know uh, that. Didn't know oh, that. yeah. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, John from Hazlitt has some Mike Piazza uh, stuff he wants to send you. He wants you to make a mask for him, uh, which isn't good. But 
That's Maybe shocking, he'd like man. to incorporate a picture of the ball that you have and put that on a mask. Oh, well, that's, yeah. Yeah. I, well, the thing is, do you take donations of signed uh, memorabilia? Because I have a, a, a Pete Alfonso. Yes. You know, this, I, this is in the, this is another really cool thing that, that, that we're beginning to start with. Uh, so we, we began taking in uh, broken sticks you could see here. Uh, so we built like benches or Adirondack chairs or lamps. Oh, nice. uh, oh, wow. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you some of those pictures later on. And you can actually see those on our site as well. Um, so sign memorabilia, we are going to start running eventually auctions and live raffles for memorabilia. And every single dollar, every single cent will go right into the non-for-profit organization. I have some of my own, I have some of my own custom stuff as well. I mean, I have this garage yeah, is yeah. filled. Oh, wait, stuff, let me ask you, you know? a question. Oh, wow. do, you, do you do videos of your stuff? Do you put videos out there? Uh, to the yes. Public? Yeah, we, we started doing uh, a Facebook live groups where we, kind of give away this stuff just to keep uh, our members entertained throughout the pandemic, especially when it was a lockdown. Uh, but soon enough, we're going to start to uh, auction them off little by little. I mean, every single dollar will count. And like I said before, if anybody thinks that this not-for-profit is kind of a side gig, it's not because, I mean, the funds have to come in. So if anybody's watching or anybody, even one family, if I can help one family get, get a kid off the street to... Uh, get occupied with a sport or with music or performing arts, whatever it could be. Um, Cause I take some personal growth here. I was, my brother and I growing up in Brooklyn uh, after college, uh, we just wanted to help the kids. So I, I, I know what it's like. So if I could help a family and someone from your show could help me help that family, it'll be wonderfully and greatly appreciated. So that's, that's what so, we're doing. So again, guys, if you want to get hold of Tolik, or his organization, it's Altronite. It's A L T R U N I T E dot com. Okay. And again, it's right down in your, uh, you know, I'm, I'm posting it in Facebook. And it, they got some great stuff. I just ordered the, uh, the Harley Davidson mask to go with my motorcycle. Thank and you, sir. I, I, I will go on tonight and I will order the Adam's Grave mask. And I got I got to do this. I'm going to do this now. I'm going to share a picture of, of the bike. So that's the bike now. That's the color of the bike. Wow. Yeah, it was orange. And that uh, they did a great job over a perfect body. It's beautiful. Yeah, it looks yeah. Really nice. that's the color of my car. Yeah, but it, it's it's what he did. You, you really can't see it in the sun. But what he did was he painted it black, then put the blue over it, and then put a pearl on it. Oh, that's and then, sweet. And then clear coated it. So. Yeah, it's got a it's got a funky look in the sun. It, it, that well, do you, doesn't know do you, justice. Do you have any events coming up? Any any fundraising events? So our first fundraising event is the one we're actually participating uh, in now with with the Movember Foundation in the Mustache Classic. It is a um, November twenty first. It is a cancer and a suicide prevention hockey outing. Uh, it is in Danbury, Connecticut, 11 o'clock, November 21st. Uh, that is our first affiliation with the Mustache Classic and the Movember Foundation. Um, and sometime probably, I, it's tough right now with these events. You don't know how it's going to end up with the space and everything. So we're trying to play it a little smart here and not create events that won't be successful. Right. We, want, we want a good turnout. Uh, we want wonderful funds raised we want a lot of pr uh now is this out is this going to be indoors at a rink yes this will be at a hockey rink exactly All right. yeah because sometimes you get these outdoor rinks that you can play that you know you can play in but i mean how many people like connecticut we know new york state right they're not letting anything go on right now yeah. what about connecticut connecticut what are their i guess their rules are a little more lax so you can have people come in for it it's, it's definitely, it's definitely not only by state by state. And as you know, it's, I mean, we live in the state of New York and it varies by zip code, New, uh, New York city, the five boroughs are crazy hectic while up here for me in Schenectady and Albany, it's a little more lenient, a little more relaxed while the rinks are not open up here in upstate New York, because we take, I'm going to say they take up here a little more precaution, mm -hmm. but New York city rinks are open and 
people play while New Jersey is on, on a total lockdown and children right. can't even skate. So it varies state by state, zip, uh, uh, zip code by zip code. So it, it's very confusing. So we're trying to, it's tough to plan an event with this crazy Disney's going around. Like I said, we want a good turnout. We want great success. <laughs> uh, the, mo the most important for us is awareness. I mean, that's what we're here on with you guys, right? Uh, I'm trying to create yep. awareness. You guys are helping a not for profit out, um, which is wonderful. So the more people we can reach on a, as a face-to-face -face basis, that's what's important for us. So I want to absolutely start doing our own events. We're built for this. Uh, people on our team were built for this. They can't wait to get out there and start spreading awareness. Uh, but I, I think we're going to be patient. We have a lot of dreams, a lot of goals, a lot of aspirations that we want to fill. Um, but we, we just want everybody to stay healthy and safe. So we're going to do this November outing, which is wonderful. And when we start doing our own events, I'm going to let, I'm going to start letting everybody know. Um, awesome. Yeah. Well, well, Talek, one of the things that, that we do here on the show, especially once, once you've been on and you're part of the uh, business power, hour family is that anytime you have events coming up and things like that, send us the information and we'll talk about it on the air. You know, we'll get the word out that you're having events and stuff. So. Not only will we talk about it, but I will post it on my <laughs> website. Sorry, on my Facebook page. <laughs> okay. So just to let you know, Tolik, Norm doesn't actually do the posting on his Facebook page. Somebody else does. <laughs> so. Wow. So <laughs> that part, that is absolutely true. I'm so, just the brains behind it. That's all. So, I'm the good looks. That's so all. it's so it's Norman has that has people. He has people, yes. See, he Norman's got people. all these okay. people. Norman has people. As so, a matter of fact, if you get in touch with me tomorrow, I got a surprise for you, plus the contact of the Boys and Girls Club. It's got a I, I absolutely can't wait. I love creating these partnerships, these relationships. So, I mean, while the goal is to expand and, and provide awareness, but it's, it's, it's something about creating a relationship with another not-for-profit or another business to provide back to the community. It's so fulfilling and so rewarding. I, I, I don't know. I can't explain it. It's, it's just establishing that connection for me right. is just, there's, no, there's nothing higher within the business anarchy. It, there is, there's nothing else. Just that relationship is wonderful. That's it. I'm locked in. You're, I'm sold. That's it. And just to let you know that this show, one of the things that we do with this show to, to continue to try to get the word out is that we have a YouTube channel. This will be posted on the YouTube channel. We also post it on a number of different things. Like you can get it on iTunes and you can get it on Google podcasts and, you know, Spotify and things like that. So, uh, you know, if, if anybody wants to hear and I'm going to send you the YouTube link and you can put that on your website, I'll send you the RS, you know, RSS feed for our podcasts. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for the episode, so you can, you can pull it right from the podcast. The podcast is not video. It's just, it's just audio. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and so we're, we're, we're working hard to make sure that guys like you are getting your due. And you're getting the support Succeed. that you need because it's so important. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that very, very much. So the kind of hour has gone. I told you it was going to go fast. Wow. Now, so yeah, we're already hour. we're already up against the end of it, my friend. Unbelievable. Uh, it was unbelievable. It was great. It was great. Our pleasure. Public. You know, we, we wish job. you the best. Great job today. I did. I did make a request for that. Uh, for that. Uh, uh, face mask so i'm hoping it'll, it'll be there soon as soon uh, as we as soon as we part ways here on the show i'll open up that email and i'll get working on it for you all right thank you sir i appreciate that and i'm sure as soon as the show is over norm's gonna uh, go online and order that mask for his uh yep. for his thank son you. thank you guys so much you know and if there's any like i said any events anything like that any word you want to get out just let us know and we'll we'll get it out there for you and we thank you very much for being a guest and you can look forward to being back here shortly. Yeah, and, and we thank you for taking your time and donating it so other people can benefit. We really appreciate that. Be how, many am I, people like how, you how am I supposed to say thank you if every single word you guys have just mentioned I wanted to say? <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Just right? That's what it's all it's about. A, we can sit here and listen. 
Honestly, <laughs> from the bottom of my heart, thank you. It, it, like you said, it, it's about the time and the effort that you provide uh, of giving us a, a platform uh, to raise uh, some awareness. I have no words. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for, for giving us that, that time. Very All right, much. Tal, a pleasure. Well, yeah, thank you for being on and uh, we'll look forward to uh, working with you in the future. Yes, sir. All thank right. you. All right, thank have you. a good night, my friend. Speak to you soon. All right, wow. What a great, what a nice great bunch of stuff he's got. Sleeper. He's a sleeper, sleeper yeah. organization, wow, that's they're, they're terrific. I'm pretty pretty pumped. That that face mask I ordered looks really good. Yeah, so they, uh, all this stuff looks so, you know, real. You know, yeah. not, not like our mask that, you, no. that your partner got, right. That you, yeah, my partner got. <laughs> well, you know what, though? But most people, when they're ordering face masks, that's what they're getting. They're getting what, what you order. Absolutely. <clears throat> they're this not getting special quality stuff that has filters in it and everything else. It's really cool stuff. And know? I do have the um, the director of the Boys and Girls Club. I know you do. Is um, a business associate, one of my networking yeah. groups. And I'll reach out tomorrow for, for talking. So well, that's it. So what do you got coming up this weekend? Anything? Uh, this weekend is actually the, the, uh, cancer drive through. Oh, that's right. The right, cancer, right, right. Cancer right. walk this year, you know, every year we have the cancer society on, they're actually going to be on in two weeks. Uh, right. And, uh, they're actually going to be doing a drive through this year, not a walk. Usually they do this big walk and we support, you know, in, in civil air patrol, we, we help them with security and, and whatnot. That's great. Uh, but this year, it, it's it, it's weird because they're only allowed fifty volunteers. They're only allowed, and it's you know it, it, you're sitting there going, "Are you kidding me?" Because they gotta do a drive-through. It was over here, and you know, and they got it, it's it, they got this maze set up, and so we're gonna be there helping them. We got about ten of us that are gonna be there helping them, making sure traffic moves through and everything like That's that. That's great. That's good. But stuff. guys, support the American Cancer Society. It's such an important thing. And we're doing concert for them on November twenty first. I know, and they're know. passing I, around the flyers at the drive through. They're, right, everyone's they're, getting bags. They have stuffed bags with all kinds of stuff in them. They're gonna. They're actually gonna be on our show at the end of the month, right? Yeah, they are the twenty sixth. Twenty sixth is Monday. Is they're gonna 28? be on on the twenty the twenty sixth, I believe. All right. Well, we were doing Monday shows too. Remember? Oh, okay. Uh, whatever. I don't I mind. I think it's the twenty sixth. Or whatever. All right, so we got our show uh, on Saturday. We have um, the Doobie Brothers. And then Sunday uh, evening, we have John Denver. And if people are interested, just uh, Norman at friendentusa.com. Be happy to help you. Mm -hmm. And we thank everybody for tuning in again and helping keeping us strong. Our numbers are great. Thanks to you people. And um, God bless and everybody stay well. Yes, everybody be careful out there. Have a great week. Be safe. And we will see you next week right here at 7 p.m. For the and wear your masks. And wear your masks. Have a good, good night, night everybody. everybody.